the age of Me Too, should cases of alleged sexual abuse be tried in the courtroom of social media? I'm Mel Fletcher and this is 2030+. Plus. The open discussion of sexual harassment and abuse, especially in the workplace, is long overdue. Yet it raises some very important questions. For example, is a body of online opinion equal to a body of evidence submitted in a court of law? Thankfully, we're becoming more aware of sexual bullying in the worlds of business, entertainment and politics. Many of us take to social networks to share our thoughts about it. I suppose we take the view that by talking about alleged cases of harassment, even in general terms, we're adding weight to the rightful condemnation of bad and in some cases criminal behaviour. Often though these general discussions become personalised very quickly. We hear people saying things like, oh no, not him too, I never thought he'd be like that. Sadly when enough of us like or retweet those thoughts, we often do little more than engaging herding behaviour. We don't just join a conversation, we effectively join a mob. Where the accused offender is concerned, the result isn't always the one we might have hoped for. The fear of being subjected to viral social media campaigns leads some alleged offenders to make knee-jerk pseudo-apologies. They might say something like this, look I don't remember the incident but I'm sorry if my behaviour caused offence. This is not a real apology, it's too conditional, it's too vague, it's most often an attempt to dampen down the passion of the baying lynch mob, to dissuade people from punching out vitriolic responses on social media. At the end of the day, accusations of abuse or harassment have to be made through proper channels. They must be investigated and adjudged through the legal system, not via Facebook or Twitter. That's the only way to achieve real justice. It's the only way to deliver some form of closure and restitution for victims, and for the perpetrators, some type of correction and treatment. I'm Mel Fletcher. Thanks for watching.